Brad, your daughter has started again. What's she done now? She exceeded her credit card limit by purchasing dresses and handbags that weren't appropriate for the work attire I had recommended. When you see them, you'll understand. Moreover, she failed to attend her first day at work, citing illness as the reason. She's 22 and still young. Let her enjoy her life and don't be on her case that much. My dear, she's done with college and should work so that she can finance her life. We are her parents, not a bank. You're being too hard on her. You know that she's going through a hard time, having broken up with her boyfriend and all. Good riddance. That Marco was not good for her. My love, you can't speak like that about our daughter. You're right. Sorry. I'm just so upset. For the whole past month, she has barely been looking for a job. Now that she has found the job, she has decided not to go. On the first day, I told her to see that she had food poisoning. That way, they will give her another chance. Be patient with Clara, please. I love our daughter, and I also want what is best for her. But I think she needs to grow up. We're not going to be here forever. True. Hey dear, just wanted to let you know that tonight we're having dinner as a family. Sounds great. Where are we going to eat? I'm thinking of making some Italian. What's the special location, my love? Clara completed training and has gotten a job. I know that you could do it if she put her mind to it. See, I told you to cut her some slack. She's doing so well. I'm so proud of her. I'm also glad that she finally can start being financially independent. I can't wait to see you, my love. I must get to driving now. I'm sure it is the food that you cannot wait to see. True. You didn't even deny it. And you too, of course. I saw that you were packing a bag when I knocked. You did not answer. Oh, I forgot to tell you we're going on a staff trip for the weekend. Really? I thought you were done with training. We are setting up a few pop-up shops, so we'll be traveling around the state. That sounds exciting. Make sure to take a lot of pictures. Behave yourself and ask questions if you are unsure about something. Thank you, Mom. I will do so. I also bought you some cheesecake. Check in the fridge. Wow, look at how fast you grow. You know I love cheesecake. You're a godsend. Did you take my credit card? No, I did not. What are you talking about, Mom? Must I call you right now to confirm that you are indeed at work? Where's this coming from? How can you just don't trust me like that? Well, why did my bank call me? Because there were large charges made all weekend, the total is now 30k. They called you? And also found out that I called them to change the number where my notifications are sent to whose number some person did not know. So I looked for my card, which is the card I told you never to use, but it was gone. So I searched for the number that is now linked to my card. And would you believe it? It is the number that is linked to your ex, Marco. What? Marco took your card, Mom. I know nothing about this. He's not a good person at all. You warned me and did not listen. Well, you must listen next time. Just make sure you stay safe. All right, Mom. I'll make sure that I stay safe. Believe me when I say that I have not contacted him in ages. We're truly over. Are you going to press charges? Don't worry. Focus on work that we'll talk about this some other time. Okay, let me get back to work. Tell me when my daughter is on the way home. What? I'm assuming that you two still have not got the money to buy flight tickets. I hope that you at least paid the bills. Hotels in Miami are expensive, and I do not even know the consequences of not paying. Please don't deny it. How'd you know? Why are you always spying on us? If you had not stolen my card and gone on vacation, then I wouldn't be bothering you. 
you need to leave my daughter alone. Because when she is with you, she's not a good person. You make her into a liar and a thief. Her parents are so unfortunate to have a son like you. Mom, it's Clara. My phone is dead. Please, you have to get me on the flight back home. I can't lose my job. You don't have a job, Clara. You lied about that too. Just like you lie about everything else. How do you know all this stuff? Bank statements. I knew that you were lying, so I blocked both mine and your card. I assumed that you had some money to get you two home at least. But what was I to expect from a scrub like him? Does Dad know? Yes, he does. He's not getting involved. Mom, please send me money so that I can come back home. I'm so sorry. Fine, I will do so. But ever pull a stunt like this again, I will not bail you out. You and Marco will pay me back every cent or I'll press fraud charges. Marco will work at your father's auto shop. And you will be my PA so I can keep an eye on you. Will I have to break up with him? This is up to you. Why? You won't realize that he's no good one day. I don't have to do anything to convince you. Thanks, Mom, and I'm so sorry. Marco, my husband is waiting for you at the shop. Do not be late. My entire body hurts. Why can't I take the day off? Unless you can give me 30k, there is no break for you. You have to be like the cruelest person I know. I am in debt because of you. And you are trying to call me cruel? I have parked outside of your house. Come out before I drag you by the ears. What sort of 24-year-old? You are so lazy, unable to work for anything. I hope my daughter leaves you one day. Don't judge me. You don't know me. I'm an aspiring rapper, and one day I will make it. Then I'll marry your daughter and prove to you that I am good enough. Sure, one day. But that day was not today. So get up and come to work. Right. Good afternoon, ma'am. Your husband told me to bring something to your office. Clara's not here. I sent her on an errand. Look, I'm not trying to see Clara. He did tell me to bring something over to you. Fine. Come through. Hey, I need a place to stay. Hey there. It has been a while. Is everything okay? No. Nothing is okay. And everything is a mess. Brad thinks that I cheated on him with Marco. But Marco is your daughter's boyfriend. You wouldn't, would you? Of course not. That is sick. I think Marco made it all up because he's trying to get out of his punishment. Surely that would also ruin his relationship. What is wrong with Marco? He has always been such a troublemaker. Marco is trying to ruin Clara's life. She believes him. She thinks I was sleeping with him. How did she even come to that conclusion? What proof is there? He came by here today to deliver something. He spilled water on himself. The next thing I knew, he was undressing and he tried to embrace me. What? That is disgusting. It could be your child. How dare he act in such a manner? You must report it to the police somehow. There were pictures taken which were sent to my husband. Did the people at work see them? No, but Marco said I had to forgive his debt. But how can Brad just take Marco's words for it when he is troublesome? He says that it makes sense since I was at Marco's house earlier this week. I was just there to pick him up and drag him to work. He's a child and I despise him. Does the thought of him like that is so disgusting? I know you would not do that. Thank you. At least someone believes me. But now this comes at the wrong time. My relationship with Clara is improving. But there is only one thing. Which is? She wants to know who her surrogate mother is. Why does it even matter? 
the information is classified as she shares DNA with you. Brad says that maybe I treat Clara like that because I don't consider her my child. Since I got her through surrogacy. That is nonsense and we both know it. You love that little girl more than anyone in this world. I know, but it's all complicated and they will not talk to me. Come and stay with me. Thank you so much. It is only for a little while. You can stay as long as you need. Have you calmed down now? Calm down? After you cheated on me. Come and take the rest of your clothes. I'm done with you. I would never. He's my daughter's boyfriend. How would it benefit him to lie? Revenge. Just come and fetch your stuff. You disgust me. You did not have to kick me out in front of the neighbors like that. If this gets back to my workplace, I will be in trouble. You deserve to be exposed for who you are. I've been married for 27 years and have never stepped out. You know me. How could you believe him? Those pictures? They don't lie. At least you could have let me speak to Clara. She hasn't left her room the whole day because she's crying after you broke her heart. The problem here has always been you. You hate her. Kicking me out would be a mistake. I've already thrown you into the street like the common woman you are. Do you think I care? I've had it with you. You cannot even afford any of the bills alone. At least if Clara worked, you would have someone to help you with the bills. You will see what I've had to deal with for years. You don't want to take me to court. I will make sure you'll get nothing out of me. Stop with empty threats. I've seen your true colors, and nothing you say will make me change my mind about divorcing you. Fine. Send the papers. If you cannot believe me after we have spent decades together, then maybe you should not be together. The past few days have provided such clarity for me. All I do is give and give to this family. I get nothing back. Well, allow me to set you free so that you don't have to give anymore. Your dad and I are divorcing. I know. You also know that nothing happened between me and Marco. I know that something happened. Yet you're still with him? You have been stalking me in social media. Typical mom. Well, you will not have to worry too much about me. I have decided to stay out of your business. Glad to hear. Marco was just a victim of yours. He had no choice but to do what you wanted after you put him in a compromising situation. The fact that you believe that wholeheartedly is sad. It is the truth. You forget that I'm your mother. I know everything about you. I know when you're lying. Just leave me alone while you bring this negativity into my room you enter. Could you please relax for once and leave me alone? You are a terrible mother and a wife. Is this revenge for when I blocked those cards? Talk to me, Clara. You don't have to help Marco cover up his lies. You are not like that. You know nothing about me. One day you will realize that all I ever done for you was in your best interest and never had any intentions to harm you. If that day ever comes, the world will be ending. I'm everything I need. A supportive father and a loving boyfriend. I've also got a job. Now, I'll work hard to prove to you that I don't need your money. Dad also told me how you told him he would not survive without your money. Well, we can. I have nothing more to say since he has made up your mind. Why has the rent not been paid? Ask my ex-husband. I don't live there anymore. No! Why do we owe you $9,000? This is a ridiculous amount. Oh, it's just this month that he did not pay. You are the one who signed the lease. You were supposed to pay the rent. But I don't live there, so I'm not responsible for the rent. The landlady came here. She was harassing me for over one month. I never knew her rent was that much. 
I paid the rent all those years. So you think such a nice house is only for $500 a month? Welcome to being an adult, my dear. I thought we owned the house. No, we do not own it. We are renting. You have just bought the house instead of paying so much rent. I do not owe you an explanation. Your father said that he is financially stable, so let him pay the rent. You are evil. Why did you not tell me this sooner so I could make a plan? I'm doing nothing because we're no longer family. Hey dear, it has been quite a while. Where have you been? Hey there, I've just been busy with work and having set up my apartment. I heard Clara and Brad moved out of the house. Of course they did. They never could afford the rent. The rent was not 9k. The person who was renting it out to me was a friend. I only had to pay about 3k, but when I moved out, she had to make them pay the full amount that they should have been paying. After they humiliated you, they deserved it. I'm glad that they were humiliated for being unable to pay the rent. Everyone knows that you have always been the breadwinner in that house. Yes, I've always taken care of them, but they wanted to hurt me. It's too much that they did not see that they were hurting themselves. What is next for you now? Lunch? Well, let me join you then. There's a lot of catch-up porn. Please do our usual spot. I cannot stop thinking about what you've told me. There is no way. It is the only logical explanation. I've done my digging. Clara wanted revenge for blocking her card and embarrassing her in front of Marco. So she planned to have you kicked out? Exactly. I don't think she wanted to end the marriage, but once she had gotten too far, there was nothing she could do. But now she's engaged to Marco. She's going to be stuck with him for a very long time. But why is her ex supporting him if he had an affair with you? This is my theory. But if you even think of that, this is ridiculous. No, I don't think that is. But you do not have proof. I will find it. And when I do, people are going to pay for all the hurt that I went through. I have long been a pawn in other people's games. It is time for me to take back my power. Revenge is never helped. You should heal and move on with your life. That is the best kind of revenge. I highly doubt it, because if I'm right, then all of this has been for nothing. Just be careful. I don't want you to get hurt. Don't worry about me. Hey, Emily. Brad? I wanted to talk. Amicably, of course. Sure, what's up? As you know, Clara's getting married. Yes, I know. I'd like you to be at her wedding. But she would not like that. It's been months, and she misses you. She's wanted to call you many times, but she chickened out. She just really needs you there. She hates me. A lot of stuff happened, but it remains that Clara is our daughter. And we must support her. Okay. Actually, there's also something else. Yes? Her wedding expenses are turning out to be a lot. I'm trying, but it's a lot of money. Don't say anything more. I'm going to send about 15k. That would be more than enough. Thank you. No problem. Tell her to come to my house. I will send the location. We need to talk. Thank you so much for doing this. You're the best. She's our daughter. I got home safe, Mom. Wonderful. Thank you for the check. Anything for you. I was so worried that the wedding would never happen because of all the expenses. Now, we can at least have our engagement party and our wedding very soon. I'm glad that I'll be part of it. I emailed you your invitation to the engagement party on Saturday. I got it. He will also find the wedding gift registry. I wanted to send it out to give everyone time to buy their gifts. That is a fantastic idea. Yeah, you can just check it. Okay, got the invitation. 
I also got the registry. A little hint for you. I want you to buy me something on four wheels. Oh, the car. I mean, you are my mom. You know everything that makes me happy. So think you're the person who is the most likely to buy us a car or maybe get us a deposit on the house. I know Marco and I have put you through a lot, but determined to make this marriage work. I want to start with some assets of our own. Sure, I will see what I can do. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. Hi, mother-in-law. Just wanted to thank you for the gift. Marco, take care of Clara. I will, and we'll see you at the engagement party on Saturday. I just wanted to let you know that I recently got a very good job with medical aid benefits, and I've quit smoking and drinking as well. I also wanted to tell you something. What is it? It's my fault that you and your husband got divorced. Nah, it is not your fault. You actually helped me. Why? Some recent things have come to light which prove that I should have left a long time ago. Things like... Don't worry about it. We'll see each other on Saturday. Of course, ma'am. The engagement was a disaster. But I have yet to hear the full details. I will tell you everything that happened. It is indeed eventful because everything that had been hidden in the dark came out to light. Spill! So when my daughter and her boyfriend framed me and my husband embarrassed me, I just couldn't believe that they would do that to me. It didn't make any sense. No daughter could be so cruel to her mother. Of course not. That is because she is not my daughter. I know I was her surrogate. I carried her. But her DNA is yours. I met up with her, invited her to my house for coffee, and got a sample for DNA. Only to find out that we did not share an ounce of DNA. How could that be? Did they imply the wrong egg? They did not even implant my egg because you were already pregnant. What? Clara is my daughter? She's yours and Brad's secret love child. No. Brad and I are friends. We did not cheat on you. If he told you that he is lying, it was only a one-night stand. Clara confessed that she knew I was not her real mom, which is why she was okay with taking advantage of me. I rewarded her honestly by canceling the 15 checks I had given her for her wedding. Does she know that I'm her mother? The whole world knows now. I am sorry. I wanted to know how long you have been sleeping with my ex. It happened a few times. When you two found out that you could not carry the term, he was very sad. He came to me for comfort, and we started our affair. We never meant to hurt you. Then you suggested IVF. We had the quickest and simplest process in the fertility clinic's history. Because you were already pregnant, and made me raise your child for years. How did Clara know? I did not have the chance to ask her. A lot happened after I revealed the truth. She ran off. I need to talk to her. You can have your family reunion if you want. I really don't care. But know that our friendship is over. You are a snake and I should have never trusted you. You, Clara, and Brad deserve each other. You should have come to me when you found out the truth. What am I going to tell my family? They will think I'm a horrible person. That observation is not far off the mark. Because you were indeed a terrible person. You allowed me to be humiliated and labeled a cheater because of your daughter and your lover. I lost so many friends and family members. You should have told the truth so many years ago. Now that I have lost about 22 years of my life, my self-esteem and dignity are in tatters. The betrayal will just keep on coming. Please, allow me to explain. There is no need to explain anything to me. Hi. Has Clara talked to you? No. She's been missing for days now. So? 
I know that you're mad at us, but you raised her. She's your daughter. She's your bastard child. Whoa, whoa. There was no reason for you to call her that. You know what? It makes sense that I did not share DNA with her. I thought there was something wrong with me when I could never get along with her. She had rotten behavior and you enabled her because you felt guilty. Do you know when she found out she wasn't your kid? I think when we told her about the surrogacy, she dug some more. I refused to tell her who was her surrogate, but she never found out that Ava was her mother. And she was in front of her all along. Can you just set your anger aside and help me look for her? You know that she can be unpredictable. I don't owe you anything. I want none of this drama. All that happened afterward is between you and your family. I guess now you know I was telling the truth about there being nothing between me and Marco, right? Look, I'm really sorry for accusing you. You were protected because you were guilty. You should have just left me alone a long time ago. Instead of having a child with my best friend and making me believe that that child was mine, I can never get back those years you took from me. I'm so sorry about what I did to you. You kicked me out like a dog. I lost the respect they had in the community. Then you divorced me. I'm sorry for ever thinking you could be vile like that. It was all Clara. Once I find her, I will get her to apologize to you. An apology will not be fixed. Hey, Mom. Clara, where the hell have you been? Out of town, clearing my mind. You were supposed to be getting married. You have less than two weeks. Oh, I guess you have not heard the wedding is cancelled. He broke up with me on the day that you exposed the truth about my birth. I went with him to his house because I needed support and a place to hide. Everyone was asking so many questions and I was embarrassed. He told me that there was so much drama with me and he left me. That rascal. He told me he would hurt me, Mom. I just never listened. I'm also sorry for framing you. I thought that you knew about my true identity and were keeping it from me. When you froze the card, I was convinced you did it because you hated me and wanted to put a rift between me and Dad. I never could have guessed you were also living in the dark. I knew nothing about it. I loved you so much, even if you made my life a living hell. I'm so sorry. I have had time to think about everything. I valued material things over family. That is okay. I get that. Can we start over? I'm sorry. We cannot. Why? You serve as a constant reminder of the 22 years I spent living a falsehood. Both your biological parents let me down, and you in turn shattered my trust. It led to the dissolution of my marriage, and you later attempted to use me to fund your wedding, fully aware that I'm not your biological mother. But I'm so sorry. Sorry does not cut it. But mom! Ava is your mother now. Yes, I blocked them all out of my life. They tried to reach out, but I blocked them still. I applied for another job and I have not turned back since then. Whether they forgave each other or not is none of my business. I should have done this a long time ago. It feels great 